What is up guys? My name is Mark San Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Guys, it's hoodie season guys. This, oh, I love wearing me some hoodies. It's nice and comfy. This one's actually not a hoodie. It's one of the zippered hoodies, but love these jackets. They feel just great. The weather's great. I can be out in the garage again. I can do some crazy stuff outside. But today what I'm going to talk about is the other day I was going to do a vlog and go bash it and I wanted to mount or try to put these tires on. These are Proline Badlands. I want to put these Proline Badlands. These are monster truck tires. I want to put them on my ET48.3 to go bashing with. And it didn't work. It didn't work, guys. I was really frustrated. I was like, what is going on? I think I figured it out. And I'm going to show you guys the fix. So let's sit down and I'll show you guys. All right. So when I say I think I figured out the fix, because I'm, you'll see, you'll see. So basically, I put these tires on, and it's like, okay, they're 17 millimeter hexes, they look good. I put them on, I start to tighten them. Let me get this on here. Tighten the wheel wrench, shameless plug. Put them on, and they don't turn. Like, literally, they, they don't turn. Yeah, hold on, let me straighten you guys out. There you go. All right, so they don't turn. So I was like, what the heck? I was looking inside, is the wheel binding, is the, uh, maybe the spokes on the wheel binding onto the knuckle. Sometimes this happens, it happens on the front, and it's whenever it's turned, it will actually hit the knuckle or some of the arm pieces. But that's not what it was. So, I think I figured it out. I think what happened is, and I say think, we'll know for sure this is what happened at the end of this vlog, is the hex, the offset of the hex, isn't deep enough for the offset of the wheel. So basically what's happening is the hex is, it's not, again, it's not thick enough. So whenever I tighten the wheel onto the, onto the hex, it's actually pushing, the inside of the hex is actually push, pushing on the knuckle or the bearing carrier. So what I have to do is I have to get bigger hexes in order to accommodate for the offset of this wheel. So. I did, I ordered it. I actually figured this out before I left to Vegas. I ordered this stuff while I was in Vegas. So whenever I got back, I, uh, I got it in stock. So here's the stuff that I'm gonna use to fix it. Oh, I bought the, the, Ackerman plate, <laughs> the steering Ackerman plate for the 48.4. A lot of people are doing this this on the, the truggy, they're putting the Ackerman plate or the 4.4 steering on. I don't know if this is all I need. I'm pretty sure it's all I need. Um, but what it's doing, I guess it makes the steering more linear. I don't know. I'm not going to put it on yet, but this is the EB 48.4 Ackerman plate. I'll wait till I need it. I was told that this is not as linear it's kind of expo with how the steering the steering linkage is in this current the stock steering Ackerman so what I did is I just I did kind of sense it and what I did is I just updated on my remote so the car feels good now so I'm not gonna change it yet but I will probably make this change sometime soon in the future but I do have that piece when I want to but this is the piece that I think is gonna fix it these are the wheel hubs these are a plus two millimeter offset the part number is TKR 5071C. I don't know why I'm telling you the part number yet because we're not even sure if it's going to fix it, but it should. And the reason why I did this is because I noticed that the MT410, the Techno MT410 had came stock with these hexes. So I'm assuming the monster truck wheels are different than stock wheels. So let's put these on and see if this fixes it. God, I just sprayed brake cleaner all over my face. <laughs> A couple of pointers. Use the the pins that come with the new hexes, they're a little bit smaller. Also, make sure you Loctite the set screw that holds the pin in place inside the hub. And before you do that, which is the reason why I sprayed myself all over the face with brake cleaner, is uh, make sure it's nice and clean, get all the oils and the excess uh, brake cleaner off, or not brake cleaner, Loctite off, but clean it off, put some uh, Loctite on there and make sure it's all set in. So this is the moment of truth. Let's hope this works. I think this is gonna work. It definitely looks significantly bigger. Come on, work. Come on, work. 
Oh yeah, see? We tightened it up, it's all nice and tight, and it spins. So that's it, that's the fix. If you have an ET48.3, you decide to put some monster truck tires on it or wheels on it, it doesn't fit, get these hexes. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all the way around. They're the TKR 5071C. They're 17 millimeter plus two offset hexes that will allow you to run the monster truck wheels on your ET48.3. So before we go, I'm gonna kind of tell you guys what increasing the width of the car, like putting bigger hexes or thicker hexes actually does. I used to do it a lot with my older cars, um, put a, basically a, a bigger offset in the rear. And I know for the rear, what it does is it gives you more rear traction. Basically, it makes the car a little bit wider, so your car's a little bit more stable. It used to make my car a little bit easier to drive. I've never put it in the front. I've never did the offset, the increased offset in the front. I just read it up, I read up on the Huddy book. It says it actually does the opposite of what it does in the rear, which it decreases your traction in the front. Um, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of how that makes sense. I guess it does make a little bit of sense because narrower it's going to maybe grip a little bit more or corner a little bit more. But what I'm assuming that this is going to do, I'm, I am going to try it on the track with this offset, with the sticker offset. What I think it's going to do, it's going to make my car feel a little bit more sluggish, a little bit easier to drive. Um, but if I don't like it, I'm going to put them back. So one last pointer, buy you some little plastic bags. I bought these from a box of these little plastic bags from Michaels I think it was Michaels and you can get them like in the bead section or whatever and <laughs> you can put all this stuff in here that way you don't lose them so if you like this video guys smash that like button turn the notification bell subscribe to my channel and you guys will see me next time later guys